All right, so let's take a quick look around the Evercross EV10Z. So as you can see, the front does have shocks. These are solid tires, eight and a half inch. Down here is the charge port. Make sure it stays closed. Has a nice rubber deck. This right here would be the latch. When you close the scooter, the handlebar would lock into there. Remember, this is not a step. I'm gonna take the sticker off later. The motor is in the rear. There's also a side reflector, rear light, rear reflector. The kickstand. Here's the brakes up front. This here is the locking system. You just have to push on the red. Try to do it upside down. So you push this down and pull it out and it'll unlock the arm and the arm will come down. And as you can see, here's the hinge. That will lock into this. And that's how you'll carry the scooter. Huh, that's not the best glue job they did there, but that's okay. A little off centered actually. <laughs> So here's the dash, so let's do a peel. I did already install the app on my phone and synced it to the scooter, which was very fast. Uh, once I turned on my Bluetooth, the app already saw it. And from there, the app, you can control everything from the headlights to what speed you're on. It tracks your mileage, your battery. You can lock it through the app if you want. On the left side, you'll have the bell, a nice rubber grip handlebar, solid at the end, so you can't really hang a mirror yet. This is your handle, your brakes. On the right side is how you accelerate. The grips are very nice and tactile. And the brake line will cross over your headlight, which is not a big deal. It doesn't seem to cross my beam but the cool part is this headlight actually moves so if you want to aim your headlights down low you can do that or aim it high or straight ahead up to you i believe i saw a piece of plastic on this uh, i'll have to check it later to peel it off it does feel like there's one on there but i'll worry about that a little later so there's the scooter I give you a closer look over there. So there's no suspension in the back, as you can see. We have the shocks up front with the mud guard. Very nice. And there's a quick overview of my scooter, the Evercross EV10Z.